Dodging cars but not criticism. Turning the first sod on the Shell Harbour Hospital redevelopment, the Parliamentary Secretary for the Illawarra and South Coast met with concerns the money promised isn't enough. We don't understand why the shovel can't also go into the budget and dig deeper as to what this hospital needs. But Mr Ward is confident the funding is adequate. It'll pay for more than 100 new beds, a new emergency department and additional theatres. A quarter of a billion dollars is more than we spent at Wollongong and uh, is a major injection. It's what we committed to. Uh, sadly, the Labor Party are only committing 12% of this upgrade. Labor noticeably absent from proceedings. The member for Shell Harbour wasn't extended an invitation to the sod turn. Neither was the city's mayor. I wasn't aware that there was a sod turning. Um, it's a bit disappointing that the state government again disregard the people of Shell Harbour City in this. And I'm disappointed that I fought so hard along my community to ensure that this hospital was kept in public hands, only for the member for Kiama to now turn up and turn a sod. The parliamentary secretary standing firm. I don't invite people to things when they don't actually back in the projects. So for the same reason uh, that uh, I'm not inviting Anna Watson to the turning of the first sod on the Albion Park Rail bypass. The hospital upgrade is expected to be completed by 2022. Samara Gardner, Wind News.